Roger Stone likes to play the fool every time he gets the chance to do it publicly. He dresses like a buffoon and acts like one too, all in the attempt to draw people's attention away from his alleged crimes. He's been complaining loudly ever since his arrest that Robert Mueller's office tipped off CNN so they could be there to watch him get handcuffed. Well the normally silent Mueller broke his silence Friday to say that Stone's claim is ridiculous. The special counsel's office is aware of no information indicating that reporters were given any advanced knowledge of a possible indictment from the special counsel's office. Stone had asked the court last week to order the special counsel's office to show whether it's violated court orders and released Stone's sealed indictment to the press ahead of his arrest. His attorney claimed that the metadata on the draft indictment provided by a reporter while Stone was being arrested established that it came from an author or computer. That a member of the special counsel's office has the initials OW supports a reasonable inference that that office is responsible for the unlawful public disclosure of a grand jury document sealed by order of the court. Mueller had no problem making the defense look like fools once he pointed out that Stone's own filing shows the indictment was not publicly released until 6.11 a.m., which was after the arrest at 6.06 a.m. He went on to say, that the metadata Stone was talking about merely shows when the document was created, not when the document was released. For their part CNN said that it was good instincts and luck that put their reporters on the scene. CNN posted online that stakeouts are a common practice in the news business. CNN, in fact, had another crew out on a stakeout in another state, that same morning the crew was at the home of another player in the Mueller probe, on the suspicion that the person could be arrested, but that hunch didn't pan out. Dot all of this is, is just Stone trying to cast doubt on all the players before he goes to trial. Donald Trump has even gotten in on the scam after he posted this on Twitter.